And the family. You don't get the end of these. I love that. I love that. All right, today I'm checking out Jerry Reed. I'm listening to his cover of Patches. Let's get into it. I was born and raised down in Alabama on a farm way back up in the woods. I was so ragged, folks used to call me Patches. Papa used to tease me about it. Of course, deep down inside, he was hurt because he'd done all he could. My papa was a great old man. I can see him with a shovel in his hand. See, education he never had, but he did wonders when the times got bad. The little money from the crops he raised barely paid the bills we made. All oh, life had kicked him down to the ground when he tried to get up. Life would kick him back down. One day, papa called me to his dying bed, put his hands on my shoulders, and in tears he said, he said, Patches. I'm depending on you, son, to pull the family through. My son, it's all left up to you. Two days later, Papa passed away, and I became a man that day. So I told Mama I was going to quit school, but she said that was Daddy's strictest rule. So every morning, boy, I went to school. I fed the chickens and I chopped wood too Sometimes I felt like I couldn't go on I wanted to leave, just run away from home But I would remember what my daddy said With tears in his eyes on his dying bed He said, Patches, I'm depending on you, son I tried to do my best It's up to you to do the rest Why is this sad butt song have my cheeks tight? Why does it have me smiling on the inside? You know what I mean? I don't know. It feels good, even though it's, I mean, it's very sad. I mean, we're halfway through the song, and we know that he's so poor, they called him Patches, and his dad died. You know, and he's at it. He's young. He's still in school. His dad died. They call him Patches. There's nothing happy about this song. But I don't know. It's just the feel. It's just the feel of the song. And I said, Patches? You know what I mean? It's like you want to kind of sing along to it. And it's kind of awkward in a sense. And like the lines, and you know, like the melody, it like goes up at the end. You know what I mean? Like the way he, the ends of the note, it's like the loudest part. It gets higher pitch. It's just different. It's just very different. But I don't know. The differentness, the quirkiness too. It has me feeling some kind of way. Then one day a strong rain came and washed all the crops away. And at the age of 13, I felt like I was carrying the weight of the whole world around on my shoulders. And you know, Mama knew what I was going through. Cause every day I had to work the fields. That's the only way we got our meals, you see. I was the oldest in the family. And everybody else depended on me. Every night I heard my mama pray, Lord, give him strength, make another day. Though the years have passed, the kids are all grown. To a brand new home, Lord knows, people. I've shed some tears. My daddy's voice kept pounding in my ears, saying, Patches, I'm depending on you, son. I've tried to do my best. It's up to you to do the rest. I can hear Papa saying, Patches, I'm depending on you, son. I just love the vocal melody of this song. I don't know. It was like, you see me, I was Otis and the family. You know, at the end of these, I love that. I love that. The vocals compared to the Clarence Carter OG version. Clarence Carter sound emotionally like more like wild, like he about to let loose, like man might be crying at the end of that song. I think the Jerry Reed version, vocally it sound a little bit more composed. You know what I mean? So more composed. The Clarence car, he was, uh, his throat was going crazy. It was going crazy. This one's just got a little more grit and composure to it, but they still got the same melody. They kept, you know, the, the general core of the song intact. That's, I don't know why that song feels good. His mom even died 
by the end of the song. It's an extremely sad song. If I just read this, if I was reading the lyrics and had never heard the song, I'd probably be depressed at the end of reading the lyrics. But with the song, just the feel of it, even when he wasn't doing the you know vocal stuff, when you get to the chorus, the chorus just feels good. You want to dance to the chorus. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know. 